Tonight, Panorama exposes the new crime wave, serious offences committed by children. The Home Secretary has called it perhaps the most disturbing aspect of the whole crime pattern. Julian Pettifer reports on the young criminals who are getting younger every day. The best burglar, for example, in West Hampstead is now age 11. Uh, this may seem a um, terrible thing to say, but nevertheless it's true. If you see trouble on your point, then please, gentlemen, I want you to act. If you see large groups of supporters coming, then please let your supervising officer know so he can tell me and I can take the appropriate action. Calm down a bit. Calm down a bit. Should you have to eject from any other gate, you must inform ejectment control as soon as possible. Should there be someone get too frisky, it's no longer minor, then you will use your power of arrest. In the London borough of Camden, between 50 and 60 percent of all crime is now committed by youngsters. And this juvenile court list, for one average day, makes the point that the offences are far from trivial. The age of the offender is in the left-hand column. Faced with this kind of responsibility, many magistrates feel that the 1969 legislation has left them helpless. Did I hear you say yeah? yeah. Oh, that's better. This next number is dedicated to the local police force. Do you like the police? Do you like the police force? Heavy metal kids are a pop group with a growing following among the young. Their leader claims that he's providing what the kids want in the 70s. In the 60s, he points out, it was all beads and peace and pot. Now he believes it's boots, bother and booze, and his songs reflect that belief. Perhaps the music really does reflect a taste for boots, bother and booze. There's certainly ample evidence of increasingly heavy drinking among children. And as for the boots and bother, these songs, which are anti-authoritarian and violent, do seem to strike a chord with the young audience. I looked in my window and there was the most horrifying sight I've ever seen in my life. It was a scooter. Anyway, he tried to overtake me and as he went past, I looked into my right hand pocket and found a little bitsy 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 rusty toilet chain. Indeed, the cops are coming, 
and not just to make arrests or harass the young. As part of their crime prevention program, the Police Juvenile Bureau have been sending officers around the schools to put the police point of view, trying to win confidence among the young. Sometimes the reception they get is critical and unfriendly. Can you, can you mention some instance of violence by police that you've witnessed or, or you know of? Well, I've known a policeman hit a boy around the face with a leather glove before. No police officer has the right, uh, and I hope I never see a police officer hit anybody. Um, personally speaking, I've never hit, had any occasion to hit anybody. It does uh, exist only a self-defence. Pardon? It does exist in a police force. Well, no, no uh, band of men is perfect, you know. Um, you're asking for... Um, a complete whitewash, you know. Um, no, we're all human beings. Violence in the police force, you know, in the uh, cells and that, you know, you get to hear these stories and that. You hear the stories, but uh, I've what, been in the police force many years now, and I have performed many years as a station officer and a duty officer, and I have never witnessed, and I will say this quite truthfully, I have never witnessed violence in a police station. What, the only I've worked in most of the stations throughout South London, including Brixton. Perhaps I worked at Brixton before the, the, the sort of heavy population of black uh, uh, sort of came there.